ready? Yeah. Oh, we. Oh, we. Do we have anything? Yeah, that's what I'm Yes. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. All right. We are ready, and we are very thankful for everyone that came out today. Um, Zach is very excited to present to you today. Um, he has an amazing story that he would like to share with you, um, it, it, to the point where it touched Chris Singleton, um, and thought since we realized how much it touched him, we figured, well, he's in our own home. Like, it would be great to hear what he shared with Chris Singleton. Um, so we put this together, and those of you that are in the Equity Student Committee, thank you for coming out. Um, thank you, staff, for coming in to support Zach. Um, Zach has an amazing story to tell. There will be images behind him kind of related to what he's saying. And then when he's done, you are more than welcome to ask questions or give com uh, compliments or anything like or that. Or give feedback. Or feedback, yes, because he is definitely looking forward to moving this more in terms <clears throat> of motivation speaking. We are filming it for Zach and his family as well so that they can kind of have that and, and, you know, and enjoy it as well. Okay, so thank you so much and give a round of applause for Zach. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. And I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about my story. When I was three years old, I always had a passion to share my message with people around the world, but I didn't know how to spread my message with people around the world. So, I was on YouTube one day and I saw this video how to become a YouTuber and I had no idea how to do that. So I did my research. But I was skeptical about posting my video on the internet because of my condition. I have cerebral palsy, so it's difficult for me to move around. I've always had to depend on certain people, like to always help, help me out with certain things. And I just wanted to do something to inspire everybody. No matter your disability, you can achieve anything you put in mind. So I wanted to share certain achievements that I went through throughout my life so I can share with everybody that you can do anything you put your mind to. But it wasn't until 2013 when I started uploading my videos. But I thought at the time it was just for my friends and family. But I kept getting messages from certain people how my videos inspired them to keep going with their life. And I just thought that was really touching to me. But one of my friends really inspired me, and I'm going to be talking more about him today. His name was Carlos Ben Jim. And I used to have to watch him do more visual speaking. And I used to have to write reports on his motivational speaking. <laughs> and his, 
the story really touched me and It wasn't until 2016 when I got the worst news of my life. <laughs> um, in, in, in 2016, January, I went to school one day. It was after the mom. It was after Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. birthday break. And everybody was there but Carl. But Carl, he wasn't there. So I, I was curious why Carl wasn't there. And then my teacher gets a phone call at 10 o'clock a.m. And then she started to cry, and I was like, I knew something was up, but I didn't know where it was at the moment. And then a couple hours throughout the day, my parents had to pick me up. And I was like, why my parents had to pick me up? I I just didn't know what would that be. And it was until then when my parents told me, did you know your parents called? I was like, yeah, what, what happened? And then we have something to tell you about calls. I was like, well, you guys help. <laughs> and then they told me that he passed away. And from that point, I I didn't know what, how, what I wanted <laughs> to do moving forward because I was so devastated to the point where I did not want to leave my room. And I was so scared to tell people this, so I would keep it bundled up, but I I know it's not always good to keep feelings bundled up. So uh, that's when I started taking my motivation and speaking seriously. I figured if I could share my message with certain people, they would maybe resonate with my story. And I just been sharing my message on the internet. And I had so many messages from people around the world saying how they that story made an impact in their life. So I'm happy to make an impact on other people's life because it makes me feel good to share my story and have other people resonate with my story. So, a week later, I, I went to this field trip for, di for different people who were going for schools. Like different schools were coming together to, to talk about how, how one person inspired them to do what they do. And Carlos was supposed to be Speaking at this event, but Carlos was not alive anymore, so they asked me to come up and speak, and I couldn't, I couldn't say no. So I gave my message to everybody at the, the event, and from that moment on, people just invite me, keep inviting me to speak at certain schools 
I'm just so grateful to share my story with everybody because I hope I can make an impact in the world that you can do anything you put your mind to. It doesn't matter if you have a disability or not, you can do anything you put, put your mind to. And I just want to tell everybody, if you need somebody to talk to, I'm over here. And a resource if anybody needs to talk. If you need it, so talk to Anyway, I'm always here. And I will listen to and I will try to <laughs> help you with your situation as best in my ability as I can. And another person that made a huge impact on me is Chris Singleton. Chris Singleton had a similar story about his mother who he who he really cared about. His mother was murdered. And I just thought he was so caring and so understanding that I felt very, I felt a connection with Chris Singleton. And Chris Singleton, I just wanted to remind him that Whenever you go into a difficult job, there's only the right at the end of the day. You can do. You can achieve what you want to achieve in life. There's this quote that I, I read on the internet yesterday. If you dream it, you can be it. And I feel like I dream of becoming a motivational speaker, so I'm very blessed to have spoken to you all today. If you have any questions, I'm very open to open up all, all your questions. Thank you all for coming, and I, I hope you enjoy my presentation. Compliments, comments, anything for that. Zach, I have a question. Yes. What's some advice you could give others about what can help you get through those hard times? Um. Just find what you're passionate about doing. If if you're passionate. Wherever your passion is, you can find somebody who can help you uh, grow your passion. Like talk to a teacher, talk to a counselor, talk to a friend, talk to a family, talk to anybody who you trust that can help you achieve your goal or or whatever you want to do in life. Because I believe in you, and um, I just want everybody to achieve what they want to achieve in life. And remember, <laughs> always remember, the sky is the limit. And you can do anything you put your mind to. Thank you for your question. Thank you, great job. I just want to say that we're all very proud of you because I remember talking to you yesterday and you were really nervous, but you said that no matter what, you could still do it. And that was very inspirational to me. So I'm just happy that you did really good.
Thank you so much. And thank you for volunteering your time to come see me speak today. Zach, I'm so sorry that you lost your friend. Um, I lost my dad about three years ago, and it's really hard for me, so I can't imagine um, how hard it was for you to lose your friend. Um, can you tell me something that you loved about him? Like, what do you miss about him? Um, it was just... Every, every, every day, um, we use my teachers always used to put us together, so I got used to hanging out with him 24 seven because we used to went to school together, we used to have work together, we used to do everything together, and now that he's gone, we we just don't do the stuff that we used to do together. That's why I always say when. When you have people in your life, just treasure the small moment. Treasure the small moment because you never know when you're going to lose them. You just never know when you're going to lose them. That's why I always say, whenever I see somebody, I always say, I love you. And that's just a small thing will make a big difference because you never know when somebody you never know when, what somebody's going to do. And just that small interaction can make a big difference in somebody's life. Thank you for your question. Thank you. Hey, Zach, I have the quote behind you that says, don't let your darkness cover the light. You want to tell them what that's about? Oh, I forgot the vision. <laughs> 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 um, my friend Carlos used to always say, the way the darkness come in the light, and that quote means, if people say negative stuff about you, don't wait that bother you, because <laughs> people always going to have different challenges throughout life, and some people may support you, and some people may not support you. So, I know we tend to focus on the negative stuff that people say about you, because I don't know about you, but for me, I always tend to focus on the negative stuff that people say about me. Me, but I try so hard to focus on the positive stuff that people have to say. And thank you for your question. Does anybody else have any questions? Come on, Zach. You knew I was going to ask you a question. <laughs> Zach, first, I just want to say how proud yeah. we are of you. Um, you know, it's, um, it's, it's amazing. You're, you're, you're like really an inspiration to us, right? When we have darkness, when we have bad days, right? Um, you know, we, uh, you know, I know I do. Um, I find inspiration in you. It's just, you know, to keep going and, and, and do what needs to be done. Zach, there's been a lot of students that have come to this school since 1943, which is when this school opened. That was a super long time ago, right? How do you think this school has made you better? And how and and how do you think you have made our school better? Well, that's a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to ask you a tough question. Zach, hey, look. Gonna ask you a tough question. My job. Um, when I first came to the school, I didn't want to open up to anybody, but when I got familiar with, with the staff and the wonderful kids that they have here, I, I, I just couldn't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I know that, Zach. <laughs> 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 Always got to 
got something to say. Right? Right? Got something to say. You love it. Yeah. So. Yeah. What about you, Zach? How do you think you've made us a better a, a better school, better people? So, I I was gonna get to that. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I I just want I I feel like sharing my message with people, hoping. I feel like I inspire some people to go for their dreams and I'm just very grateful that I get to share my message with wonderful people because when I went to the school three years ago, I, it was through the pandemic and I I lost a lot of people to the pandemic, but when I used to go on Zoom and talk to you all, it was just a relief for it to how many uh, for eight hours in one day. I just had a relief because I felt so. Uh, alone in the pandemic, in the pandemic, um, we, I couldn't go out because what was going on currently, and I just missed seeing all the wonderful connections that I had, and I, my, this was my first school, and my first, I had to transition to go to a new county because the the other school that I previously went to had to close down because of the pandemic. And then the building had to get fixed. And then, I felt so terrible because at the time I didn't know there was some people with disabilities. I thought I was the only person that was gonna be with a disability. So it was just hard for me. But as time progressed, I got to know wonderful people. So I'm grateful for my time at Pillar High School. We're grateful for you. Mm -hmm. We're grateful for you. Anybody else have any questions? That was edible. <laughs> Zach, I got one. So you are always a huge source of smiles and light. And <clears throat> I always enjoy our little chats together. What do you do when you get into like a bad mood or you have a bad day? What helps lift you up? I, I just try to, even though I might go through a bad, difficult time, I might, I try not to show that because if I go through a difficult time, then I don't want people to feel sad. So I just try to put a smile in my, on my face so I can make other people happy. And if I can make other people happy, that will make me happy as well. So thank you for your question. <laughs> don't be shy. To, I, <laughs> He's looking at me. I don't have no yeah. questions. Yeah, yeah. I don't have no questions. I'm good. <laughs> What's your YouTube? Why you yeah. tell everyone yeah. that? Yeah. That's a good one. Uh-oh. My, my YouTube channel is Zachary's Journey on uh, YouTube. Okay. Yeah. 
Zach, I just want to say that I know Carlos would definitely be very proud of you for all the things you've done, and the fact that you're able to spread that message is, is a wonderful thing. So. I just, this is, uh, I don't mean to cut you off, but. You didn't cut me off. <laughs> He's used to it. But <laughs> <laughs> he's used to it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I kind of feel like he's in the room right now. Aww. I know he's not in, in the room physically, but he might be, his spirit is in the room right now. And if I keep his story or keep telling his story, to me, he might be gone, but his story will live <laughs> on forever. And that's how I feel about Chris and Goody. If Chris and Goody keep sharing his story about his mother, his, his mother's story will live on forever. And generation after generation will keep sharing your story. And I hope people will continue to share my story across. And I hope I can make a big impact on Fela High School and everywhere I go. Anybody have more questions? I need tissue. I'm looking at that paper towel right now. Great job, Zachary. Good, Good job. job. Good job. Good job. Good job. You did it. Good job. 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 Good job.